A lot of us begin our morning by having a cup or seven <laughs> of coffee. A new study suggests that drinking three cups each day could extend your health span by nearly two years. This morning, fitness and nutrition expert Mackie Shieldstone is here to discuss the study results. Good to see you, good, good sir. Good to see you, Brandon. You know, you, you said the right word, health span. I think people misunderstand when you, in your promo to me, you talked about longevity. Right now in this country, the average uh, life expectancy is 79.4 years, mm -hmm. 77 years for a man, 81 years for a woman. But what we really want is to have a health span. Mm -hmm. And that leads us to compress morbidity. The shortest period of illness push toward the end of your life. Well, coffee in this study, and it's 83 studies done in Peru, demonstrated that two cups to three cups of coffee daily increase the health span by 2.8 years. Mm -hmm. Now we already know that uh, that coffee, because of the 2,000 polyphenols and the nutrients in it, has been shown to be beneficial for heart disease, for stroke, for dementia, and the newest studies show that it can help in pre preserving lean muscle tissue. But the risk that, that we realize now is that these polyphenols, there's one called cathestol that actually can increase your bad cholesterol, known as LDL. Mm -hmm. So people out there who have filtered coffee, you know you're filtering it in, in the cup before or brewing it, that removes the cathestol. But for people out there drinking the French roast, mm -hmm. or French press rather, and especially espresso, that leaves that nutrient that elevates the bad cholesterol. Which is often looked at as a preferred, more artisan approach to having a better coffee. Right, well, you know, but we're talking about health span versus lifespan. Mm -hmm. Now, there is significant research that <clears throat> demonstrates also that, 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 that coffee dr uh, taken in the morning mm -hmm. is actually more effective at reducing your risk to all-cause mortality than in the evening. So being like, I think right here, you see the people drinking <clears throat> coffee in the morning. The other point is, the idea is that certain people, we have to look at caffeine. And caffeine, there is a restriction from most of the scientific uh, communities not to, exceed, uh, uh, not to exceed 400 milligrams. Well, I'm gonna show you in a cup right now what exactly, you see this cup right here and this cup? This is what people think is the normal serving size. That's 12 ounces. Okay. The serving size is six ounces. So you have a styrofoam cup. I pour it in. So what do you know? Mm -hmm. This is the right serving size to prevent you from going over. Mm -hmm. Caffeine, again, not for, uh, for pregnant women, uh, for people with high blood pressure, it has its limitations. 400 milligrams is roughly four to five cups of something this six size, to eight ounces six to eight ounces right there. Sure. And then the idea of, um, of, of two, to eight cu two to three cups mm -hmm. a day seems to increase um, your, your, your health span. And okay. that's something we all want. That is definitely something we all want. <laughs> Good to see you, good Likewise. sir. Spencer doing okay at the trading? Well, he's in uh, Best Ranger right, right now. He's got two of the top Rangers and they start 60 hours yeah. Friday. Yeah. Oh my God, I've been there. It's the roughest thing you'll ever do in your natural born life. Right. Well, we are cheering him on and yeah. good to see you as Likewise. well. Thank, Thank you, sir.